Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can make a sandbag at home for under 40 bucks. What you're going to need is a duffel bag. We have two different styles here. The smaller one is just kind of a standard duffel. Um, the larger one here is the top load. We got both of these from Amazon. Um, they were each about $20. The fill that we're going to use is rubber mulch that we got from Lowe's. Each bag of this is about $7. Um, so all said and done, the whole thing is going to cost less than 40 bucks. Um, for the larger duffel bag, we're going to seal that up with some zip ties and duct tape, and I'll show you how to do that. I think we're going to be able to get about two bags into the smaller duffel, which will make it about 40 pounds. The larger duffel, we've made one of these previously. Um, we'll probably get three bags into that one, which will be uh, just over 60 pounds. So let's start with the small one first. We'll fill it up and see where we can get to. All right, so I just finished filling the small bag. I was able to get uh, two bags of the mulch inside. Um, I don't think you could get any more in there. You could definitely fill it a little bit lighter if you wanted to, but I'll go take a final weight on this and then we'll see where it's at. Um, I just closed it by closing the zipper. Uh, we'll probably want to zip tie the two zipper ends together just to make sure it doesn't come open while you're working out. But so far, so good. All right, next we're gonna fill up the uh, top load duffel bag. I'm gonna put three bags in this to make this sandbag about 60 or just over 60 pounds. So let's see how that goes. Okay, so I just put three bags of mulch into the large duffel. Um, as you can see, it's pretty full at this point. You may be able to put a little bit more in if you wanted to make it heavier. Um, you could certainly, again, put a little bit less if you wanted to make it slightly lighter as well. Before I seal this one up, I'm gonna go get a final weight on it just to kind of see where it's at. Um, and I'll do the same for the small duffel. All right, I just went and weighed the sandbags with the mulch inside. The large one came out at about 62 pounds. The smaller one was right around 41. Uh, so I think that's kind of ideal. You have a, a lighter option and a heavier option. Um, we're gonna go ahead and seal up the large duffel now with um, some zip ties and duct tape. So basically you just want to kind of gooseneck the duffel as close to the mulch as you can because you don't want a lot of extra uh, space inside the duffel for that mulch to be moving around. And then we're gonna use about five or six zip ties to close this thing up. Uh, we'll snip off the ends of the zips and then uh, just wrap some duct tape around to, to protect them. So we'll do that now. All right, so that's it. We got the large one sealed up and we're good to go. Uh, we will leave links in uh, this video for uh, the two duffel bags from Amazon as well as the rubber mulch. Uh, this is a super simple DIY project that you can do. Um, so if you're getting kind of bored with the dumbbell and kettlebell at home, um, go ahead and make yourself one of these. It's gonna give you a lot of different options for weighted movements to keep us uh, interested in our workouts at home. So. Thanks for watching guys, and if you have any questions, please let us know.